hey guys and welcome to my channel if you are new don't forget to subscribe in today's video i'm going to share with you how to do a drawstring ponytail this ponytail i made it out of a used braided hair and i'm going to fix it onto my fussy hair it's not that long yet i'm still growing it so i'm going to fix this ponytail onto it so follow me as i show you step by step how i'm going to do this to start with i'm going to wet my hair with this water my hair is soaked with enough water I'm going to go through with a comb now I'm going to section the front of my hair into the parts that I want the sectioning is going to be only one I thought of dividing it into two but I choose only one I'm going to do it like in the center of my head so right now what I'm doing is I'm parting one side and then I'll go and part the other side to make the sizes look the same or equal so as I part that side, I'm going to braid it. I'm going to go in with Echo Styling Gel. So I'm applying Echo Styling Gel to this little part of the hair in order for it to be easier for me to manage. After that, I'm brushing with my little comb. So next, what I'm doing is I'm using a needle and a thread to just braid this little hair section of hair that I'm holding. I'm going to braid it kind of like a tree tree, but not. It's going to look kind of like a comb row, so that's what I'm doing now. It's using the thread to go in and then come out, going through the, the center and then coming out at the top of it. This braiding I'm doing will look very good on a relaxed hair better because mine is a bit of like natural hair, so you can actually even see the ropes and then it's, I think, too dark hair. So it's a little bit of hiding what I'm doing. I'm not sure you are seeing it properly, but I'll try my best to zoom it out so that you can see so this little braided thing I'm doing with the thread and needle you can do this same one like braiding comb roll with your hands but if you're not good with braiding comb roll you can do it this way that's why I'm doing it because I'm not good with comb rolls that's why I'm using needle and thread and the thread I'm using is not actually a yen thread it's a, a sewing thread very thin one I about like double or triple them to look that thick so that's what I'm using now also if you use yen it will look better than what I have now as mentioned earlier my hair is super super dark it's as dark as the thread I'm using so you can actually see properly what I'm doing until I finish it all done with the braiding part what I'm doing right now is just sectioning a very little part of the hair around my ear that's what I'm sectioning right now and then twisting it with my fingers that's what I'm doing it's very tiny hair very very light it's not that thick so I'm just twisting it around and then using a the plastic band elastic band to hold it and then what I'm doing right now is using a needle to go through and then pull out the hair I'm going to braid that like a, a, a twist I'm going to twist around the little hair around it so that's what I'm going to do right now after this one I'm doing the same to the other side of my hair So this twist I'm doing at the side is just a very thin tiny one I just want something like to hang there because my edges are not that long This is just to give my hairstyle that I'm going for a different look just to hang something there that's all So as I finish with that now I'm going to brush my hair through with my bigger comb That's what I'm doing right now Going through to make sure it's easier for me to continue my styling so as I'm going to continue this, I'm going to use this Echo Styling Gel. What I'm doing is putting it into the hair, nothing else to do. I'm going to put this into all of my hair, ensure that the hair is soaked with the gel everywhere, every part of the hair. And then after, I'm going to use my little brush to go through and then brush it all throughout from the front to the back. Make sure the hair is smoothly laid. So I'm going to do this process continuously until my hair is fully and flatly laid. My hair is quite very stubborn and very very thick so I do struggle something going through. So my hair I'm going to use Gorilla Gel to hold it because that Echo Stella Gel alone is not doing the work for me. That's what I'm applying to the hair. It holds the hair 
more than the eco stalagio does now i'm going to use this soft uh, ball brush to go through the hair this will make the hair lay very smoother that's as you can see from the other end it's becoming smoother than before so this brush is very good that's what i got recently and i've been using for my hair i like it a lot it smoothens from the front all the way to the back and i think it's going to work very well when my hair is super super long and it, i'm going to enjoy it so much the brush is quite good so as i finish coming through i'm right now putting the hair into a little bit like a ponytail that's what i'm going to hold my little uh, drawstring onto so as i finish that i'm going to wrap my head into my scarf and after i finish i make sure the scarf is tightly held onto my hair before then i'm going to go in with my hair dryer right now as i'm using to dry my hair out i'm going to do this for about 30 minutes or depending on how long it will take to dry because of the gel that is in the hair so i'm going to do this process a while but i'm going to cut that one out of it so now it's dry i'm going to take it off that's how it looks right now you can see whoa it looks really smooth very nice nice than i thought it would look so that's how smooth it came out this is the side of it how it appears when i put my little ponytail i'm holding on you will see how difference it makes so i'm putting the hair onto it right now make sure i secure the little drawstring onto my very ponytail and make sure it's very tight enough very strong to hold this is going to last for about two weeks depending on how long i want to keep it it can last for ever all i have to be doing is use a coastal gel to redo my natural hair because it's not that long to the end so once in a while it will be feeling like it will be getting up and standing all i'll use is gel around it to solve that problem that's the only thing that will be disturbing me throughout this style so as i'm doing right now i'm using the little drawstrings uh, elastic to wrap around it and make sure the hair is very secure and then i'll pass the hair through the very little space that i brought and what i'm doing right now is i'm using a little bit of the hair that the little ponytail to run wrap around the end where my ponytail starts that's what i'm wrapping around to just let it or blend in so right now what i did with this uh, hair i made this hair myself this ponytail i'm going to do a different video on how i did this this ponytail it looks a bit like a natural hair i designed it to look that way so what i'm using right now is this golden looking kind of like elastic hair hair accessory i'm just passing it through the hair just to give it some different look because the hair is really dark and then leaving it just blank like that will just make everything like disappear into it so i'm using this golden thing to just give it a little bit of a different look that's all so after I'm, i finish this i'm going to use my little bit of uh, gel to try and do my edges if i have any i'll try my best to bring my edges because without the edges it still doesn't look how i want it to be so after i finish with this needle i'm going to cut it at the top of it where i i reach right now i'm going to cut it out and then stick it into like the band of the where i wrap the ponytail and then i use this little thing that's it all so this is the final look of the hair how it came out how it looks what do you think about this little style leave your comments down below and also i'm going to show the side of it this is the the very side to the back and then showing here is the top how it looks from the front to the back how it looks well at least it has changed my face it makes the face look different look like a little bit of a goddess <laughs> and i think i admire the style a lot and especially what the little goldish things i put into it gave it that little look that i want and then the little hanging hair at the side has also complemented it all thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and i'll be back to reply you thank you for joining me and see you in my next video Bye!